Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Irina and today I'm going to test some new makeup items, a new uh, spring makeup collection from Avon. I absolutely love doing these videos because I love playing with new makeup and I love playing with makeup in general and I really like giving honest Avon reviews. So if that's for you, I'm hoping you will subscribe. So this new collection is called Vivala Pink. Uh, you can get four items for £20 if you get them in a bundle or you can get them separately if you want. So there are two eyeshadow palettes in the here. Uh, one is in Shine Bright, so this one is the one with the yellows, yellows and pinks, and then there's another one called Next Level which has pinks and purples. Obviously I wanted the yellows. <laughs> I think the yellows and pinks will make like really interesting spring-like looks. <laughs> then there is a blush stick in this collection. Um, I picked the one in a red revolution, but you also have one in pink expression and one in purple power. The third item that you can pick in this collection is the liquid lipstick, which is the lip paint hydrating matte lipstick. So you can pick uh, how many shades? Five shades. And they're all new shades in this because this is already a current product. But to pick one for this bundle will be one of the new shades. I have picked Rose Touch. They also do Pink Revolution, Sassy Fuchsia, Be Bold and Glam Red. And there is a nail polish. And this is a pearly nail polish. So mine is in shade Strong. But you also have Soft, Wild, Arty, I was really intrigued by that one, almost got it, uh, Bold and Glam. There is also one other item being launched at the same time, not part of the Viva La Pink collection, but it is being launched at the same time and this is the Dramatic Duo Pencil and Liquid Eyeliner. So on one side you have your pencil, uh, which is a retractable pencil. And then on the other side you have the liquid eyeliner and you get quite a few shades in this one. And you get five shades in this one. I picked the one that's called teal with it. Uh, so it should be a teal. Um, there's also Dare to, Dare to Pink, Alter Ego, Slay the Grey and Bold in Black. I've obviously applied all of these to my face and came out with this look. But before I get into the look, well, I'm going to do swatches of everything. So, let's do the swatches and then get into the look. Okay, so welcome to the swatches. We're going to start with the eyeshadow palette. So, the way I'm looking at them, these three at the bottom, they are all mattes. Then I've got one, two, three, four shades that are more like a satin and these two a shimmer. So this shade at the top here looks like it will be a nice transition shade. And these other two seem to build up nicely. That's a little bit disappointing for me. I'm gonna try and build it up. It's a bit better. That one build up looks really nice. So these ones at the bottom feel really soft. Oh yeah. I can tell that the mats at the bottom will be very nice to work with. So it seems to be so far a little more on the pastel side. Really enjoy these ones, how they swatched and how they feel. Um, and the colors you get when you swatch them as well. So we'll see how it performs on the eyes. Okay, then the lip paint hydrating matte in shade, in shade Rose Touch. 
This is a very bright pink, like a fuchsia pink. And the Vivala Pink Blush Stick in shade Red Revolution. I had a little play with this and I managed to kind of dip my finger in. I'll take a little bit of that. So that looks really nice. We'll try and do it straight from the stick. So that's quite nice, it seems to blend really nicely and it gives kind of like a pinkish tint. I'm gonna get rid of that one. We have the Dramatic Duo Pencil and uh, Liquid Eyeliner in shade Teal with it. side first liquid eyeliner side right, this one I'm not very impressed with not very pigmented and it seems to be quite watery very very watery so I'm not impressed with the color side of it the pencil side is very creamy um, not their most opaque black or black is black but it is very creamy and uh, quite nice but this side is very watery and I'm not impressed with it and then the last one is the nail polish this is in she's strong it's kind of like a pearly finish if I knew it was a pearly finish, I probably would have skipped the nail polish because it's not my favorite. Let's go and coat there quickly apply. And these are two coats. I've got it on the rest of my nails as well while I was at it. Okay, so let's start with the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to start with this shade in my crease. A bit on the powdery side. And then I'm going to take one of these brushes and spray it. Uh, this is just a face mist, by the way. And I am going to go in this one first, put it on most of my lid. Spray that again on the other side. And I'm going to go into this yellow, which is more like a golden yellow. As you can see, I'm placing that um, in my inner corner. I think I'm going to take it on my finger because it doesn't seem bright enough. Much better. <laughs> I'm going to take that and I think it's all my finger just to deepen the other corner. Okay, now I'm going to go into this dramatic duo pencil and liquid liner. I'm just going to use the liquid side. I'm hoping it will go okay. As you can see from the swatch, it is very watery. So I don't have high hopes for this.
this went way better than I expected. I was expecting this color to be like very, very faint. But I actually went out all right. So I'm gonna do my under eye. I'm just gonna pretty much copy the colors and do them that way. So let's do the gold first. And then the pink. I'm going to try this shade in the inner corner. Now let's put out the brow bone as well. I'm gonna take my pinky and try it out. So I'm just going to apply mascara and get back to you. Okay, so here is the finished look with mascara on. So let's move on to the blush stick. You get 5.5 grams in here by the way. Let's roll it all the way up so you can see. as far as it goes so I'm going to apply a little bit of this to my cheeks and then blend in with a stipping brush just a little bit I played with this yesterday and it does go a very long way So that's the blush. I really like it. Okay, then I've got the lip color. Uh, so when you choose things in the bundle, there's only certain lip colors that you can choose. Um, they are all new shades, and this one looks looked a little bit less uh, bright in the pictures that I've seen. <laughs> what I've seen in real life, I'm like, oops, that's a little bit much. Uh, I will try it on just so you can see what is really on and then uh, I will tone it down with something else. So this is the Lip Paint Hydrating Matte or the Hydrating Matte Lip Paint um, in shade Rose Touch. And I really like this kind of formula. It's a liquid lipstick, but it's very hydrating. This is the lip on its own. I think it does go with the eyeshadow palette giving us those spring vibes that the eyeshadow palette gives and that the blush gives. And I think on certain days it will look nice on its own. Just blotted it down a bit. So to kind of like mute this a little bit I'm going to use from the same range uh, the lip paint in Honey Love which is very neutral. So I'm just gonna put that on top. And then I'm going to blot. And there we are. So this is the finished look. I do feel like it's a really fresh look. Um, and things went better than I expected. <laughs> I have done another look with the eyeshadow palette, which was just yesterday. Uh, I've done my swatches yesterday and then I played around with it a little bit. And I've used these three mattes down here. Um, I've used this one all over the lid, then this one in the outer corner and this one in the inner corner and then I've just tapped this shade just very lightly over the lid. Loved how it looked, I loved how the mattes performed. Um, if I do another look here, yeah, I'll probably be a, like a vertical one and I will insert it here because I still have some shades to play around with. <laughs> Okay, so I've actually done two other looks. Um, so I'm starting with this mustardy yellow on my in my crease and then lower lash line. Then I'm adding this in the other corner for depth. And I'm going with this pink in the outer corner. And just a little bit towards the inner corner, you'll notice I'm not actually going all the way in the inner corner. I'm taking this shimmer on my finger and then putting that in the middle. And then 
adding a little bit more of that mustard yellow and taking that shimmer right in the inner corner and brow bone and then this is the finished look again on my outer corner just blending that out then I'm taking the golden yellow just on my finger and building that up and making sure that I blend that really well taking that golden yellow again on my lower lash line just basically mimicking what I've got on my top then that outer corner shade um, in the outer corner obviously on my lower lash line using the blush again and then I'm also using a hydromatic uh, matte lipstick in mauve in this video and this is the finished look but so far the shades are lovely and they build up well these two that I've used today definitely better used with a finger even this one better used with a finger or if you want them quite muted, just use a brush. This Dramatic Duo Pencil and Liquid Liner, um, the pencil side, I've had no issues. The way it swatched, it seemed really, really nice. I didn't want to use it today. I've used it a little bit yesterday. Um, I think the glimmer sticks are better. It's close enough to the glimmer sticks, but not quite. Um, this side, I thought I was going to be so disappointed in it today, but it actually worked out quite nice on the eyes. This one surprised me. I don't think I would like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it surprised me. I was certain I would say to skip it. Um, now I'm not so sure. I think if you are looking for like colorful liners um, in this type of, with this type of brush, um, yeah, it's a good choice. The blush I really like. Blends in very nicely, but you do have to be kind of quick in blending it and you do have to use um, a stippling brush I think if you were to use a sponge you might just have it kind of like just sticking to that to one place um, I did have like my uh, base makeup done before I've done this and it doesn't seem to have um, bothered like the foundation underneath or anything so it layered nicely on top this as formula goes I'm very familiar with um, and I really like it as color goes not exactly my color but luckily I already have this that I can tame it down with and actually make it one that would suit me and that I would wear uh, so not entirely wasted <laughs> and just a quick note about the nail polish all of these in this range are pearly from what I've noticed um, and the drying time is kind of like normal, it's not one of the fast drying nail polishes, it's just more of a normal drying time with these. So that's something to keep in mind. So overall I think this was a win. Um, when I've done the swatches I was certain I'm going to dislike a couple of products and that included the eyeshadow palette. I think because of that uh, golden yellow, <laughs> the way it swatched, it didn't swatch very well. And it's actually pretty decent once used with a finger and it does give those fresh spring vibes which I'm guessing this is what the collection tries to emulate. If you tried any of these products yourselves uh, let me know down below what you think of them. I'm hoping you found this video useful. If you did please give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. I'm hoping you will subscribe for other videos from me. Um, thank you so much if you are subscribed and thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!